Hi friends, it's good to see you here today. We're so excited to be continuing the story about David and kind of going back a little bit and remembering some of the amazing things that he did. His life in the Bible taught us many lessons about how God helps us and takes care, takes care of us. So we're gonna go back over the story. We have our big book here. And then we're going to just talk a little bit about how God helps us trust in him. Because that's kind of a big thing that in the life of David that he learned. He learned to trust in God. Yeah. So here's the story. Oh. Travis wants me to tell you that his favorite part is the five smooth stones. <laughs> Do you guys remember the five smooth stones? We, we actually sang the song last week. Only a boy named David, only a little sling, only a boy named David, but he could pray and sing. And then it was, went on about the five smooth stones. But here's the story, friends. It says, David was the littlest one in his family. One day, his father gave him a special job to do. You can see David out there. His special job is watching the sheep. David's father asked him to watch the sheep. While he watched them, David talked to God and made up songs and he would play and sing the songs. We talked about that, how that was a special time where David learned to commune with God and to pray. That, yeah, sometimes you have to be kind of out. It takes quiet time to hear God's voice. And he had a lot of quiet time to hear God's voice. But sometimes wild animals, uh, I know, not you. He was reminding us last week, I said something about bears. And he said he's not the kind of bear that attacks. But they were, they attacked David's sheep. But God helped David to rescue them. God helped David be the good shepherd, just like God is to us. The Bible says we're like his sheep and he is our shepherd and he's the good shepherd and he takes care of his sheep. He takes care of us. One day, David's father asked David to take some food to his brothers. They were fighting a battle in the king's army against the Philistines, the bad guys. It's a bad army. The king's soldiers were afraid. Do you guys remember that? I talked about the big giant, and they show the bottom part of him there. He was taunting and teasing the Israelites, but David wasn't afraid. Remember, he had learned to trust God, and he knew that God would help him do hard things. David tried on the king's armor. We talked about that, but it was its true. It was too big. And so he said, no, thank you. I'm going to use my slingshot. And I know this is your favorite part. He went to the stream and he picked up five smooth stones. He'd fight the giant with his slingshot. And he did. And the giant, he hit him right in the forehead with the stone. And the giant died. And the Israelites won the battle. And the people cheered. And they sang praises to God because they had won. When David grew up, move that over a little bit, you can see, he became king. Uh, yeah, I know. That's pretty cool. Remember we talked about how he was anointed king even at a young age? And he still sang songs to God. It was one of the things he liked to do. And he always trusted God for help. God helps us trust in him. That is something that God does. He helps us do hard things and then he helps us trust in him when he asks us to do hard things. You do? Oh, Travis has something in his heart. Should we check and see what it is? He's, he's very excited about this one. <laughs> okay, let's see what's inside. Oh, oh, it's very wrapped up in here. Okay. It, okay, he says it's his favorite. Ooh, it's a little wrinkly. It looks like it's well loved. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. That is an amazing verse. It's one of my favorite. Proverbs 3, 5. That is a good one. 
it tells us that no matter what's going on outside, no matter what things look like, that we can trust in God because he is our good shepherd. He takes care of us. We're like his sheep. And he takes care of us just like David was a good shepherd and took care of his sheep. God is our good shepherd and we can trust in him with all of our heart, huh? That's pretty cool. Do you know that that was written by Solomon uh, who was David's son? That, yeah, I'm pretty sure he probably did. David probably taught his son well about how to trust and worship him. So friends, I want you to kind of maybe, you know what I always like to do? I always like to, to put out scriptures, write it up. Yeah, draw pictures. He likes to hang them on the fridge. I also like to hang them on my bedroom when I was young on my wall so I would have good thoughts and good things on my wall and I drew pictures so that if, when I couldn't read I kind of remembered what they said because I drew the pictures for them. So it helps me to remember to trust in God and that he was our good shepherd and he would never leave me. Those are all good things that God tells us and we can trust in him with all our heart. So friends, that's something fun you could do is take the memory verse, you could write it on paper, have your mom or dad help you, and draw a picture. Maybe see if they have some tape, you can tape it on your wall so you can remember the good promises that God gives us. All right, I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing week. We will see you next Sunday. Bye.